Hey everybody, it's Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich. Tonight into tomorrow morning is the best meteor shower of the entire year. It's the Geminid meteor shower, um, which peaks every year in December. Now, depending on the moon conditions, you can have better years than others, but usually throughout the entire year, you will see a ton of posts online about meteor showers. And I would say 90% of them aren't worth looking at because a lot of clickbait with meteor showers. Well, oftentimes, there's only a couple per hour in the darkest possible locations, or there's a full moon, and it's just not really visible, and it really disappoints people. That's not the case with the Geminids. The Geminids always is the biggest producing meteor shower, but under certain conditions, it can be even better. So tonight's night sky, this is a look over the Charlotte area. Um, we'll kind of widen this out. We're going to go into tonight, and I'm going to show you kind of the peak times and areas to look. So you can see how low the sun is in the horizon. Um, this is a cool view. We're going to stop this right around sunset, which is right around 511. So the moon is going to be up early tonight. So if we look in the, in the southeast sky, the moon will be up there. And by the way, you're going to see Venus um, Saturn and Jupiter lined up here in a second. You could see those. And right there, going across the screen real quickly, that was the space station. It'll be low on the horizon, so not really easy to see. I'll back it up a little bit here, and we'll stop it right there. So that will actually be the space station right there. So this time, if you look at the bottom, this is 5.37 p.m., so just after sunset. Um, it, it's going to be hard to see the space station, but you will see it on the horizon there, southwest sky. The moon, Jupiter, and Saturn all lined up. So this is not the time to see the meteor shower, by the way. This is just too early. So we'll go a little bit faster. We'll speed up time here, uh, which is kind of the nice thing about using a program like this. So we'll go into the overnight hours. I'm going to stop this uh, around 9 p.m. So we'll stop this as it's coming up here right at the top of the hour. There's 9 p.m. 9.06, I'll stop it. So you can see the Geminids are actually starting to appear here in the eastern sky, but the moon is still up. So the moon, even though it's not a full moon, it's pretty bright. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna allow for the smaller meteors not to be seen as easily. So what we want to do is we want to wait for the Geminid constellation to get higher or the radiant to get higher in the sky and also for the moon to be below the horizon. That would be the perfect conditions. Because remember, the higher up in the sky, the better. If you look near the horizon, see how that goes kind of hazy in this? It's because you're looking through the thickest part of the atmosphere. If you want to see good meteors, look straight up in the sky. That's the thinnest part of the atmosphere. It's the clearest part of the sky because it's the furthest away from the horizon where we have haze, light pollution, all that. So looking straight up is the best time to look. So let's look at that time. What time is that going to be? So let's go through the overnight hours. You see the Geminids. That's the radiant, by the way not where you can always see them. You want to look around that area, but we'll go through the overnight. So we're going to stop this um, sometime close to midnight. So there's 1230 in the morning. There's 1 a.m. Okay, we're getting towards the early morning hours. I'm going to stop this right about here. The moon is basically below the horizon. So this is about three o'clock in the morning. I'm going to stop this right at three o'clock in the morning. This is 3 a.m. I know it's early in the morning, but the moon will be below the horizon and straight above us is the radiant of the Geminid meteor shower. So this is the perfect viewing conditions from 3 a.m. until sunrise. Why is this so great? Well, because the moon will no longer be um, brightening the sky up and kind of deterring some of the, the fainter looking meteors. And the Geminid radiant, which is where the meteors are coming from, will literally be straight above our heads. Now remember, just like fireworks, you don't always want to look to where they're being launched you want to look to where they're going. So this is the radiant. The, the meteors should be doing this. They should be starting right here in the middle and shooting out in all these directions. So looking anywhere in the sky is, is great. You don't have to look at the radiant because this is the radiant means where they're starting. Basically, it's the equivalent of looking where the fireworks are being launched instead of where they're exploding in the sky. So you want to look all around this area. But this is 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, we'll speed this up a little bit just to show you how this moves through the overnight hours. And again, the clock is right here at the bottom. You'll see it. We'll go to 4 a.m., eventually 5 a.m. So you can see between 3 a.m. and sunrise, which the sun will be coming up here in a second. And what you're seeing going across the sky, those are actually satellites. There's sunrise coming up in the eastern sky. So you're, you know, just before 7 a.m., it starts to get kind of twilight, probably not the greatest time. So 3 a.m., to around sunrise is going to be your best time to look. So what about the cloud cover? Well, let's look at that cloud cover. Right now, we have mostly clear skies tonight. Really ideal conditions. Total cloud cover 
is close to zero. It's going to be cold though, so bundle up if you're heading out there. It will be frigid out there, but t I tell you what, in my opinion, when it's colder, that means there's drier air in place and the skies are crystal clear. So unfortunately, cold air tends to bat the best conditions, even though it's not the most comfortable to see. So again, you want the best time to head outside? 3 a.m., the Geminid Meteor Shower, straight above our heads. Check it out. It is the best meteor shower of the year. You could see anywhere from 60 to 80 per hour in a really dark area, but even city areas, you could see 20 to 30 per hour. And in some cases, there's a burst where there's three or five a minute and then a long, long delay, and then you'll see more. And that's why this is such a spectacular meteor shower. And if you're a photographer, great time to do long exposures and uh, put it on a timer and just shoot the, as much of the sky as you can on long exposures and just go back and look at your shots and see what you catch. That's to me usually the best way to kind of do that. Use an interval meter and just take long exposures over an hour or two hour period and you're bound to catch something with a meteor shower like the Geminids.